What is going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're going to go over how to customize or add text to uh, the WooCommerce order confirmation email or the processing email. Um, and we're just going to start with just, just doing the processing order confirmation email. This is just an example of what I received when I did a test order on my, on my store. Hey Simon, just to let you know you received your order and it's now being processed. And I want to add a note under this uh, paragraph of like, um, note we're experiencing delays in um, shipping time and um, you know, it might take an extra you know, three to five days. So how do I do this? Well, if I go to my WooCommerce dashboard, right? And if I go there and if I go to uh, settings, right? And I click emails and then I click processing order, right? This is an order confirmation since the customer is containing, yep. So this is the processing order one and this is enabled because I just got it. And, um, you know, if I go dual screen for a second and compare these settings to my email, you know, stuff matches up. However, I won't be able to customize it until I do the following. So right here, if we look here, um, thank you for using, I have my site right here and your site has been received, which we have right here, right? So I can only really customize this. I can't really see a place where I can add a paragraph, but to get into it, I need to go and I, to override and edit this email template, copy this path to your theme folder. Okay, so I'm looking for something in a WooCommerce folder, templates, emails, customer processing, order.php. So this part, I think is where it gets confusing for a lot of people, but we're just gonna go over this step by step. So you need to go to like, um, you know, FileZilla, SSH, or FTP into um, a, a, a program to um, connect with your web server. You may be able to do this just by clicking edit themes, but um, this is probably the easiest. So I'm gonna go into, let me go in here, uh, okay. And it says to go into WooCommerce, templates, emails, customer pressing order. So I'm gonna to go to WooCommerce, templates, emails, okay, and then customer processing order. That's what it's telling me to do. And if I open up this file, it's gonna tell me the same thing. So I shouldn't ever be touching this file unless it's to override it, right? So it says, this can be overriding the cabinet to your theme, WooCommerce, emails, customer processing order. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this to my desktop. Okay, and now I'm gonna get out of plugins. And I'm gonna go to my theme. Okay, my theme is SG Partners. And I'm gonna go to WooCommerce, right? By copy to your theme folder, SG Partners, WooCommerce, emails, and customer presses in order. So we'll go to WooCommerce, and I might be saying freaking out. There's not an emails folder. Like, what's going on? This is like I'm. Um, I can't. I can't figure this out. So, what you need to do is you need to create a directory, and enter it. Okay. If I go all the way over here. I'm just gonna call this emails. And similar to if you not if you don't have a WooCommerce folder, you need to create a WooCommerce folder and then create another fo folder for emails. And then you need to upload this customer processing order.php file to start. Okay. So as you can see here. I uploaded or I created this emails folder and now I need to go back to my desktop and I need to upload this customer processing order file. Okay. And now if I edit this file and let's just say, I don't need this stuff. This is just notes. Um, I'll use this much. And now I just want to say, you know, I'm just going to say test, test, test just to make sure everyone has, is like we're on the same page that this is actually working. Okay, I'm gonna close this file and I am going to um, come back and I am going to resend a test order, an order notification. So I'm gonna come back to my orders and I'm gonna come back to this test order I just did and I'm gonna say resend new order notification. Okay, so now if I come back to my inbox, 
Nope, that's not it. Bear with me for a second. I am just going to run through a example checkout. So I'm just gonna run through a checkout again as an example. It doesn't really seem to be working and I'm just gonna run again. Another test order on my store and just to get this email notification. So now, right, okay, here we go. I get this, I get this message right here. Zero minutes ago, hi Simon, test, test, test. That's exactly what we put um, in, in this override file, right? Test, test, test. So we know it's working. Sweet, so now I can just even take it a step further and I could add, um, let's say I just take this test, test, test out. I could add something like note, we are currently shipping delays for up to, you know, three to five additional days. Thank you for your patience. Sweet, and to even do this even better, I could probably add style equals color. Um, what's like a red? Let's just do three, 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 three. And let's go right here. I think that's, I think color is the right one. Okay, cool. And I just added this, right? I added a paragraph tag basically. And if I go back and let's say I just run again, another checkout and let's go through this. And I'm gonna place another order as a test order. Sweet, and now if I come back to my inbox, sorry, it's right here. It's the third one down. And I don't think I put in the CSS right for text color, but anyways, you guys saw how I put in font weight equals bold. We compare this. And um, the text is bold on my email, right? And you will notice that it's, it's saying this text that you wanna do. So, that's just like getting started with customizing WooCommerce order uh, or email templates. This one is just the customer processing order email. And overall, if you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. And if you want to see um, maybe more like in-depth tutorial, if you have any questions, let me know because I can make another video. I just saw this question from someone on the Slack channel and I just wanted to answer it real quickly. So yeah, make sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up if you liked it. And yep, have a great day. See ya. Peace.